It's the week before the game fish opener here in Wisconsin, one week before the first Saturday in May, and I am out getting the boat ready to go and testing out some lures that I'll want to use when we get going in a week from now. How's it going guys? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and today what I'm going to do is just make sure everything in the boat is working properly so that we're all ready for the musky opener in a week. I'm so excited. I'm on a body of water today where I can actually fish for pike and, and bass. So, uh, of course bass is open now in Wisconsin. There's a uh, catch and release season before the season opener. Uh, so that's not a problem, but I can actually target pike out here. So I think that is going to be the main thing I'll be doing. Um, throwing some swim jigs. I think that's what I'll be throwing on the Madison chain when we are fishing the musky opener. Uh, I'm going to downsize. Of course I've got the usual chaos tackle stuff. Uh, I've got glides, I've got little bucktails, micro medusas, all that jazz. So loaded for bear and we just got to start casting and hopefully we can get into some pike and bass, maybe even to dogfish. We'll see what we can find out here. Alrighty, I'm going to start off by tossing this swim jig that I've modified. It's a 3 8 ounce weedless swim jig head that I put a nice thick mylar skirt on there and a chaos tackle small killer tail. So we'll see if that gets us a pike or a bass or something. I'm going to throw it on a nine foot surgical strike. The bait is a little light but I think the length of the rod uh, and the softness of the rod will help me to throw it. I've always got some lighter bass stuff if this doesn't work, but since we're going after some toothies and they might be a little bit bigger, we'll stick with the larger rod as long as we can get away with it. All right, well, made some casts with the swim jig. There's uh, really good weeds back here. Uh, so I can't imagine why there wouldn't be a couple fish, but I'm going to throw on the old tried-and-true silver minnow just to get through these weeds and the fish out here seem to like spoons anyway, so We'll have a go at this probably go back and forth between this and the and the swim jig Ooh, there was something. Well, come on. Shoot. Ooh, little pike, little pikey. Well, that's better than nothing, but I'd like to find something bigger than snakes. We'll keep looking. There we go. Oh, he got off. Shoot. Again, not a big one, but there seems to be a couple few back here. So at least that's fun. Better than nothing. Whoa. Oh, come on. That seemed like a bigger fish. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't that big. It was just a decent little pike. Boy, he's waking on it. That was cool. <laughs> well, we've had some action on the spoon, but let's 
go back through the area and try the swim jig see if see if they're willing to hit that hookup percentage should be a little bit better with this without it wobbling back and forth but maybe they want the wobble I don't know we will just have to see there's a fish what do we got here Oh, a big old largy. Hey, hey, you like that flash, don't you? Hey, hey, I'll take that. Come here. All right. Yeah, that's not a bad one. I will take that. Coolness. We're on the board with a bucket. A couple of those, a couple of pike. I will be super happy with that. Weeds are really coming up, really thickening up. Um, yeah, it's just nice to see spring is progressing here, finally. There's something. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Another largey. Man, these are nice. That is a respectable largemouth just about anywhere. Get an idea how big he is here. Backwards measure, 17. Not too shabby. That was a nice pike. That's the one we want to catch right there. Gosh, it, it dropped right on his nose. Oh, that's frustrating. That was like a mid thirties. Shoot. There's a fish, there's a fish. What do we got here? Get a pike finally, if it's a pike, it's a little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not nearly as big as that last one I just saw, buddy. I thought you'd be nice to my jig. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We're on the board with the first pike, albeit a little guy, but that's okay. I want that big one we just saw. Oh, that was a cool strike. <laughs> Another largey come out of nowhere. Oh, you're even fun on musky gear, sort of. Boy. <laughs> you really ate that thing, didn't you? There we go. Not as big as the others, but still not a bad little fish. Can't get the pike to hit this dumb thing, just the bass. Weird. Pike will hit anything, right?
There we got something. What do we got? Another pass. <laughs> wow. Well, I changed my mind, folks. I'm bass fishing today. At least then it makes it seem like I know what I'm doing. Not bad. Chunky little fish. <laughs> there are bass in here like nobody's business. Well, this is sort of crazy. You can give us a jump. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Well, I guess that's all right. You're a little better than the last two. Gosh, these are fat fish. I suppose these are probably females getting ready to spawn. Nice fish. I bought a bunch of swim jigs years ago when they were kind of first on the scene when I, I bass fish a lot more. Uh, so these are just heads that I had. I ripped the old silicone off, put a uh, basically a, just a mini little bucktail skirt, some of our mylar on there and a killer tail and man it's it's getting the bass that's for sure well this isn't the pike fishing bonanza that i thought it was going to be but uh hey we've stumbled into some really nice largemouth uh i i used to fish largemouth all the time and uh just got into muskies so hot and heavy that uh it's kind of on the back burner but right now um especially with this catch and release season open the body of water i'm on is open all year so it doesn't make a big difference but it's it's cool to be able to fish for game fish uh, before the actual season opens on most of the other lakes here in the state. This is just it's a beautiful day. Um, got a bait that I I made out of uh, some spare parts sitting in the basement. It's kind of my bass or uh, bass slash musky uh, mix up of a swim jig. So uh, this is, this is so much fun. <laughs> I still got a couple hours to do this. Maybe the pike will start going too. I don't know. I did get a really big one to come in um, about a mid 30 inch fish I really wish we got that one to hit but if bass hit the rest of the day I'll take it oh I think that's pike little guy little guy man if Pike are going to be that little. I'll take the largemouth for gosh sakes. Pretty. Pretty small, too. Okay, let's not screw up my jig here. Work with me, buddy. Wow. <laughs> Problem is that skirt is so thick I can't see what in the world is going on down there. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. There you go. Finally. Next cast. <laughs> if 
good. This is a large mouth. Yeah, another one of our buddies. Okay. Here. A little peppier than the other ones. You jump. Nope. All right. Gosh, these are all, I'm guessing that's about a 14 inch fish. It's not, not very big, but just for reference. Yeah, he's a little over 14, just about 15. Not too shabby. That seems pipe nope. My gosh, it's another bass. That's a little better one. All right, come here. Man, the way he was fighting, I thought I had a pike. Gosh, those are nice fish. Backwards measure, 16 and a half. My lord, that is fun. Oh, I got something coming, got something waking. It's a pike. Come on, dummy. <laughs> Got a pike waking in on my bait. I see a bass go swimming in front of it. There's fish everywhere back here. And when I was in here earlier, there was not, well, there was a fish or two, but it wasn't like this. The water temp has gone up significantly in just a couple hours though. I mean, when I started at about 11 or 12 today, it had been a cold night, so our water temp's back here. It's really shallow. It was 49 or so, and we're already up to 54 right now. Uh, that's got to be what's driving this activity. It's pretty awesome, though. Gosh, there's a fish. Are you kidding me? Are you? That's another bass. Wow. This is insane. <laughs> So much fun. <laughs> Come on. Cut they're all nice, like legal, you know, 14, 15 up to 17, maybe a little over 17 inches. Gosh. Very cool. Oh no! Bugger got my tail. Look at that. I'm guessing that was a pike. Well, you have to put a new one on, I guess. That's finally a better pike. Yeah. yeah. It's not huge, but 
bigger than the ones we've been dealing with. Nice fish. There's a fish. What do we got here? Got one of our largemouth friends? We do. You're back. Couldn't find you for a while there. Come here. <laughs> These swim jigs are something else for largemouth. Very cool. I think that's 10. It's not, a, not too shabby a day. You are looking at the leadoff hitter for this year's Southern Wisconsin Muskie Opener. I have a feeling I'll be throwing a swim jig most of the day, uh, just for something different. I've never done that before, and the fish on the Madison chain where we'll be fishing are very finicky in May. They just, I don't know, they're hard to catch on muskie baits, so why not try a bass bait? Uh, slightly modified, like I said, I, this was one that just had one of those real light, uh, silicone skirts and a smaller tail so I put one of our bigger Esox Assault Killer tails on here which has a nice snaky movement and it really looks cool in the water and uh, sort of a nice full mylar skirt so it's got a little bit of a musky flare to a bass bait and that's what we'll be throwing a little bit and of course all the other stuff uh, I want to throw the 8 inch nav in I want to throw the mini tap dancer from Chaos Tackle there's a lot of stuff I'm sure that we'll toss on the opener which the day this video drops will be the opener so today if you're watching it the day this video drops and uh yep i'm out that's it i gotta go home and be semi-responsible and get some stuff done as much as i would love to fish the rest of the day uh this has been a fantastic day 10 bass in the boat all nice bass a couple nice pike uh not not real big but yeah, they were fun this was just a fun day to get out and i'll leave you with that we'll see you on the next video